How's it going, gentlemen? Welcome back to the Mox channel. Today we're going to be building the High Grade Universal Sentry, the Narrative Gundam C Pack. So it's a pretty awkward story. Uh, I bought this Gamma like last year at around October or November. I don't really remember. So uh, October or November, I bought this Gamma. I I put it in my room. But I never built it. So today we're gonna give some love to Narrative Gundam C Pack. So I decided to, you know, review him today. So first we're looking at the side right here. So we have some actions right here. Uh so for some reason though, uh I really feel like Narrative Narrative Gundam C Pack is basically prototype new Gundam mixed with unicorn and it looks like a bunch of sashimi on the Gampa. So you can think about this. So it's new Gundam plus Sashimi. Okay, anyway, so now we're looking at the side right here. So um, we have the introduction of the C pack, and yeah, you can read it. I'm not gonna read it right here. If you really want to read it, pause it here and you know, take a look at it. So now we're just gonna quickly open it. Now let's open up and let's take a look inside. So I really feel like that the concept of this design is just mixing the Gunpla with new Gundam and the Unicorn Gundam. So it feels like a really, not really original design. So it really give me a Bill Fighters thinking, you know, you know what I'm saying? It really make me feel like this. It, it's very hard for me to treat this Gunpla like it was uh, Universal Century. It, it felt more like the Bill Fighters mixing up together. So no, no, no. anyway, that's not important. So let's just take a look inside. So that's uh so i'm just briefly giving you the what this looks like so let's take a look here so it's basically exactly the same as the box art we have the color guide down here as well first we have an edge runner so we have the legs armor we have um some part of the arms we have the rival we have the thrusters we have the i don't know what part is this uh i really don't know what part is this down here that's the H runner. Uh, we have a B1 and B2 runner, so they are pretty much the same. So I'll just choose one to introduce. So B2, I'll throw it away. Um, so B1 runner, we can see that the inner frame of the narrative Gundam. And we can see the hands option down here as well. We have two A runners. So A runners, they, have, they are pretty much the same. So I'll just choose one to say. So uh, A1 runner right here, we can see the Gundam face right here. We can see some hands armor right here, beam sabers. This is the feet part? No, 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 no. This is the, oh, I don't know what part is this, but it looks very familiar. This is the legs part. This is the waist, head, uh, torso, torso. And then we have the legs part right here. Of course, we have this large poly cap right here. We have the D runner. The D runner, we can see the feet. We can see the uh, backpack as well. So that's pretty much it. Then we have a G runner. This runner is huge. So we can see some shoulders part, some feet part right here. We can see some torso part right here. That's the torso part. And then we have the waist part right here. And then we have the shield right here as well. Next up, we have a C runner. So for some reason, the A runner is not as colorful as usual. It Instead, it's the C runner this time that uh, really have the color of the normal A runners. You know what I mean? Um, so this is the... I don't know which part is this, but this is a side. This is the legs armor. This is the torso. This is the shoulders and tenors. Yup. Then the front skirt, back skirt. We have the cycle frame of the whole MS. I'm not even bothered to go through which one is which because they are all clear pieces and I can't really identify them. But this one right here is definitely the shield. And we have the beam saber effect part right here as well. We have an F2 runner right here. Uh, this one right here, I think is for the core fighter the cockpit we have lastly we have the stickers right here so first we can take a look at it uh it contains you two modes you have the normal uh non-ntd mode and then you have the ntd eyes so i assume that you can choose between uh the normal mode or the ntd eyes and that's pretty much it so uh let's jump into the review hey guys welcome back to the review of the narrative Gundam c pack so this is the whole finishing of the gambler First, uh, it is pretty solid. The articulation, the details, I think is pretty fine. The color separation is doing a pretty nice job as well, especially on the legs. They give you sort of some detail and they really have some extension joint for you to extend it and then, you know, allow the arms to move a little bit wider. But 
I gotta say that thing is this design is not really my type. First, I know it's a prototype new Gundam design, which is a narrative if you go check it out at the Wikipedia or something like that. They mixed it with the unicorn design, which is a cycle frame uh, exposed on the surface. But I gotta say that the cycle frame first, you know, if you put this design on the unicorn, it looks pretty fine. But for some reason, when it's put onto the narrative Gundam, it looks really weird. As I mentioned before, it really looks like salmon sashimi is on the new Gundam. It really gave me that feeling. If you're someone that haven't eaten your lunch, eat your uh, dinner, I suggest you cl just close the review, eat your lunch, eat your dinner, then come back here. Because it, the cycle frame pieces, it really looks like sashimi and it's making me hungry when I'm building it. Anyway, that's another topic. And two, I know the idea is trying to combine the Unicorn Gundam's uh, cycle frame onto the narrative Gundam. But overall, first, it doesn't look really good because the exposure, it, it just looks very weird. And two, because it's a prototype and it doesn't have much armor on the arms and the legs. So it kind of have a scale problem where it looks very weird. Like some part have armor that looks pretty fine and then suddenly there's a part up here that's missing any armor. You know what I'm saying? Like this part or these part right here. You know, overall the design concept, I kind of get your, your concept, but by, you know, exposing like all these cycle frames out here, it's just adding a bit of cheap feeling. It overall just kind of, you know, it, it feels like a unicorn Gundam knockoff. Do you, do you get what I mean? So personally, I'm not a fan of this design, but today that, okay, so let's not talk about the design anymore. Let's just jump into the actual kit. Let's start with the head first. So the head, of course, is going to give you a feeling of the new Gundam. As I said, this is a prototype on the new Gundam. So first, move up, move down. Uh, you can turn around 90 degrees. That's the maximum you can turn. But I gotta say that this head, they did a very good job about giving you these two gray pieces right here as well. So I gotta say that color separation though, is pretty fine. This chest right here is what really makes me feel like it's a unicorn knockoff because first uh, it has like the basically similar spot for this cycle frame on the chest. And uh, you know, it's pretty fine though. So first the articulation is pretty fine. You know, spin around is pretty fine as well. Overall, you know, it's pretty fine. It's no, not much problem about it. But the thing is just, I don't really like the design. Like you are a prototype for the new Gundam, but somehow you really look like Unicorn. It just doesn't really make sense to me, but that's another topic. So this part right here. So just let me quickly pull this off. So we have a core fighter here, but it only contain you the uh, core fighter that docked into the Gundam. So it doesn't give you extra core fighter. You cannot transform it or anything like that. But there's a thing that I want to complain is when you put when you put this part on, it the gun part for some reason, it became very shaky as well. And I don't really like that feeling. Although there's articulation for you to bend front, uh, forward and back, it's just the feeling is kind of it's kind of loose and I don't really like this particular feeling. Let's take a close look to the arms. So arms rotate, fine. Uh, lift up is pretty fine as well. Bending is a little bit more uh, than 90 degrees. Mm, you can say call it average. The part contain, the arms continue to part to spin around. You can spin the whole arm or the forearm as well. So overall, the arms articulation is pretty good. And they also give you a joint at the chest right here where you can pull it out. It's kind of similar to the Zeta Gundam design where you can pull it out. There is small details in there. I don't know, can you see it or not? But there's small detail in there, but I really feel like nobody's gonna pull it out and just check it out. So I just don't do the panel lining. Now, as a side topic right here, we can see all this cycle frame right here. But the part that I don't like is, uh, I think this arm is losing a bit of armor and it looks pretty weird. So let's take a look at this waist. This waist right here reminds me of the unicorn as well. Of course, the whole suit is based on the unicorn, blah, 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 whatever. So first it can lift up 180. That's a pretty impressive li lifting angle, which means the legs don't really have anything interrupting it. Side skirt, you can lift it up, but once you over lift it, it will pop out. So just be careful about the angle that you try to lift up. The back skirt, of course, is completely immovable. At the back skirt right here, this gray piece right here is for you to store the beam rival, which I will show you later how to do it. We can see some cycle frame uh, inside the back skirt as well. So now we are up to the legs. So the legs right here first, uh, kicking to the front. 
kicking to the front 90 degrees kicking to the side uh not really not really and once you over move the legs the side skirt will pop out as well and kicking to the back is literally impossible and then the bending angle of the legs is pretty fine it's pretty good i gotta say and then we can also see there's some small detail right here and then flip it to the back of the legs this part right here can move a little bit this cycle frame part can move a little bit as well the gray part right here can move slightly as well and we can see small detail inside there and then the and then the feet is just a very big ball joint and then you just basically move around adjust it whatever you want to do it but we can see some small cycle frame detail inside the feet so overall the feet mm, the color separation is pretty fine it's just as i said i'm personally not a fan of this half armor design let's check out the backpack the backpack is very unicorn design i gotta say that this is like very close to unicorn design First, we have two thrusters down here. Of course, there's going to be no color. Very limited movement as well. So, you know, it's pretty useless. And the beam saber right here, there's not much to look at. You can pull it out, pull it on the beam saber effect part. That's just basically it. It's pretty boring on the backpack. You don't expect there's going to be like any movement or any expansion. Now, let's take a look at the accessories. So first, we have this beam rifle right here. I already put on the trigger hand, so that's pretty much it. This beam rifle only gave me a feeling it's just mixing the Jagan's rifle and then just make the gun barrel a little longer. That's basically my feeling. Of course, the scope is going to be stickers right here. You see this clear green piece right here? My camera is not focusing. This beam rifle right here you can store it at the back skirt so you can you see this little gap right here so first you you just basically push this in and that's basically it it's a pretty simple installation then we have the next one da 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 this very knockoff unicorn shield like literally this shield only reminds me of the unicorn design and other than that that's nothing so we can see that there's very limited like uh, details on it so we flip it to the back we can see similar design on the new gundam we have the four missiles right here which of course you have to repaint it and we also have the small beam gun down at the tip here which also you need to recolor it to put it on the to put it on the arms is pretty simple you just basically so just basically slide it in and then slide down and the connection is pretty stable as well and then to pull it out is pretty simple slide up and then just pull it out it's pretty easy the shield contain the same feature like the banshee norn so the shield can um, put it on the backpack so can you see this little spot right here just put it on the backpack and there you go but i found there's a flaw when you try to pull out the shield you often have situation where you pull out the backpack as well and then lastly of course we have two beam sabers effect part i curve one of them for me to shoot the photos later so it's pretty simple you just take out the beam sabers at the backpack and then just plug this on it's pretty simple but i realized that i i have some flaws inside the beam saber so if you take a very close look to the beam sabers right here i don't know can you see it or not but you will see some bubbles you will see some bubbles inside the beam saber so i think this is one of the manufacturing errors uh fine i keep getting false lately so i can't remain on that it's just it's just a small thing that i found this is the end of the narrative Gundam c pack video thank you guys for watching if you ask me this gunpla is worth to buy or not i definitely tell you that every kind of gunpla is worth to buy it's just depend on you do you like the design or not even the gunpla might be very bad a lot of people will still purchase it because they like it personally i'm not a big fan of this c pack but if you ask me is this gunpla solid definitely a yes is this gunpla uh, very good? Yes. Is this gunpla possible? Yes. Is this gunpla have everything you need? Yes. So I would still recommend you to buy it. I'm just telling you that I'm not a big fan of this design. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid kit. You can purchase one and have fun with it. And the price is not really expensive, so why not? So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.